Hi guys, this is days 21 to 30 of Slick's Trek Across Decadent. Now, if you did miss the first episode, it is linked in the top right of the screen now, so do go check it out if you haven't already. And before we do get started, if you do enjoy my videos, please do consider subscribing, as we are now aiming for 20,000 subscribers. And if you're already subscribed, maybe drop a like instead. Thanks guys, now quick word from today's sponsor. Are you looking to set up a project on Wood server for you and your friends but not sure where to start? Well, with today's sponsor, Indifferent Broccoli, all you need to do is click the link in the description or pinned in the comments and select how many plans you want. There is no confusing options and they offer a wide range of benefits including an easy to use control panel to make it as simple as possible to get started. It really hasn't been easy with these guys. It won't break the bank either as they offer very competitive prices and also offer a two day free trial to test it out first with no credit card details required. So why not give it a go with the link below? Thank you Indifferent Broccoli for sponsoring this video, now let's get on with it. Okay, day 21, we got a lot to do over the next 10 days. What I think the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go up here, we're going to get to that hardware saw where the alarm went off, we're going to dismantle the shells, we're going to get some nails, get some screws and also scout out a potential base because we're going to move up there in these 10 days I think, possibly, but first let's grab ourselves some food. What are we going to go for today? Let's open up these tuna, yeah open all of them, there we go, let's have a smoke as well as we are, a little bit anxious and let's eat some tuna, there we go. Alright so I think we just get straight up there today you know, before I forget we will put the splitting wall in the car, alright we've got our propane, we've got our welding mask, we've got everything like that, let's get the mall in there, there we go go and let's just get up there i think hopefully we'll get up there in this 10 days we might not it depends how armoring this car up could actually take one of the bonnets from these you know we'll look at that on the way back because a lot of zombies have come around do want to increase our long blade as well because it looks like we may be going long blade as usual okay well we are up here we got to be careful so we'll probably park up here i think and go on over because obviously we did have the alarm didn't we yeah, there's a few of the bastards around we should be able to take them with the sword though oh look at all these here let's have them come on you bastards let's have you cool the sword makes short work of them that's for sure Yeah, there's a lot of them around. But as expected with the alarm, glad we got the hell out when we did. Oh, long blade, nice. Oh, there's a lot in there. There's a lot everywhere. Oh, a satchel, a satchel, yes, finally. Jeez. Okay, well, we got through him. Let's go and grab that satchel. Oh, yes. All right, let's get all this stuff in there. Literally all of it. <laughs> oh, we still have a magazine on us. See, there's so much stuff in our main backpack. I didn't even realize we had that bloody magazine on us. Okay, we'll probably bring the car up because we've got to dismantle this stuff, haven't we? Let's just have a quick look for nails and screws. Ah, box of screws. Nice. That is good. All right, well, we've got screws. Let's bring the car up because we're going to do a little bit of dismantling. Hopefully we can get to level four and then we can just move up tomorrow potentially i don't know or at least get close to it right, let's grab all these torches let's grab the mask let's do it let's do this god this sword is nearly gone can we repair it yes oh we can oh and you might work in seven though oh another bush machete we will take that thank you oh geez look at this Oh, we are getting tired as well, but I want to get that level in metal working before we go back. We're so close. Come on, is this last one going to do it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's grab these pipes or bars even. We've done what we needed. Happy days. Let's go. We're hungry. We're tired. We need a smoke. we got no food on us. It's all go. It's all go, but very, very successful that. The bush machete is not actually amazing, but we should get better at it when we're in. When we increase our long blade yeah i mean it's a good skill as any it's as high as the other one so okay we are home now we did hit a few zombies so i do just want to make sure the engines are not damaged no the hood's only got 10 percent there but that's fine what we're going to do is bring one of them vans down here i think tomorrow and replace the parts we can we also need to read the next metal working book as well we might have to do that tomorrow metal working free here we go okay it is 10 to 11 we're gonna we're gonna have some food and then we're gonna get a bend tomorrow i think we are just gonna have to have a little base day or at least hang around a base to finish 
metal work in and also bring that other car down change some parts over before we do end up actually moving so it's all go it's all bloody go but we'll see you in the morning okay day 22 right we got a lot to do first things first oh we've woken up quite late 10 past 10 bloody hell all right well i actually want to get this metal working book red so yeah we're going to do that first okay so we've finished metal work and it is half past six so the day is pretty much right off but we got that book red which i wanted to oh we're a bit low on lighters here do we have any matches i'm sure we had matches well we can fill it up with a gas can anyway so that's fine oh we have a box of nails as well so that's fine right let's get some food in us how are our calories looking actually 79 okay so maybe get some get some cereal in you go on slick get it in you old boy let's have a smoke tomorrow we're gonna go up and have a look at one of them vans and maybe move the van down and strip it for parts and then put some armor on and then i think we're probably ready to move on i reckon yeah i mean this was a good base i would like to you know get some rain collectors up here and stuff but it's a bit out the way you know to say that we want to head into the city maybe we got some police stations here as well don't really know where we're going to go in this where we're going to base first of all in the city maybe maybe one of these around here possibly again i don't know how busy it's going to be it could be like louisville <laughs> i don't even know okay but it is 12 o'clock we're going to go to bed tomorrow we're going to go get that van do some metal work it's going to be fun fun stuff what well, a busy day i don't know about fun but it's going to be busy so we'll see you in the morning all right day 23 let's fill up our water let's grab a little bite to eat calories probably leveled off now yeah so we'll have a little bit of something what should we let's have some cereal to hell with it why not eh? oh two chevys that's that's not good <laughs> we'll be fine all right let's go and have a look at getting one of these vans down and stripping that bastard because i think i don't think you can change the hood while the armor's on there so and we need a new windscreen look at look at this she's a bit banged up old fossil fuel's a bit banged up but we'll fix her we'll fix her up this one up here looks in better condition can you attach to the back i think you can can't you well, we'll soon find out let's give it a shout bring all these bastards over Yes, we can attach. Well, the fossil truck isn't actually that good at towing, which surprises me. It's very bad, actually. We're not even getting 30 miles an hour. All right, here will do. Detach this bastard. Come on. All right, let's get our let's get our tools of the trade and look at changing some stuff out. I think all we need is a wrench. Let's see how we're looking in this. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. This will yeah, this will be fine. Let's take the hood. Hey, hey, buddy, I'm trying to work here, you bastard. Get out of it. Jeez. Oh, we have a nice, lovely hood now. What else do we need in this? Door, windscreen, maybe a suspension and a brake pad as well. Okay. We'll take the windscreen, 36%. It's not the best, but, I mean, we don't even have a windscreen, so <laughs> we'll take it. Well, we can repair the fuel tank. Okay, so we will look at doing that. We need a brake disc and suspension, so let's get the lug wrench and all that jazz. Right, we've done that. Let's see about getting some new tyres. Oh, we got 75, 70, and 83. We'll have that. There we go. So she's she's better. She ain't hundred percent, but she ain't oh we could 74. 64. We could look at getting a new tire on there, maybe. Because we do not want another blowout again, do we? That's for sure. Jeez. Okay, she is repaired. Let's go around and fill the tires up. We always forget to do that, but it does help with the handle and the braking and well, everything really. Yeah, this one's on 23. Jeez. Now we need to look at getting some bars on this bastard. All right, first things first, let's get the hood on there. Look at that. It's all coming together. Let's get some, uh, what are we missing? Metal pipes, okay. Hopefully this will be increasing. Oh, look at our mechanic skill. That's nearly, let's get in there, jeez. All right, we want front left window. Yes, please. Nice. And also some hood, uh, some trunk protection. Nice, nice. We are good to go, baby. Let's actually look at repairing some, maybe our trunk as well, possibly. Our trunk's 100%. HUD's 100%, what? Oh, maybe putting the bars on, actually. Maybe that's the percentage of the bars. Oh, maybe we should have repaired the trunk before we before we put it on. Well, we can repair the muffler. We may as well make it a little bit quieter. There we go. And fuel tank's in 100%. Jeez, this is a really good car. Left brake, can we repair? Small metal sheets. Okay, let's do it. Amazing stuff. Right, okay. Well, let's actually put this stuff back in the trunk. So we're going to need to take that with us. It's only got 93 in the trunk, but you know what? That's fine. Okay, so what do we have in here then? We have the mall, the pump and everything like that, the wrench. Because I think we we might actually move up there tomorrow 
Uh, we have all these guns, don't we? 9mm we're probably going to need. 308 we'll take and 45s. Bush machete. And we can make baseball bats up there. Winchester we could probably take. 38 special. It's a shame to leave this base, but as I say, we got, we're got we on a bigger and better thing. So also going to get the generator in there as well. We are running out of space rapidly. I mean, I think this weighs, what, bloody 25 or something? Does it weigh? 40. Why not even let us put it in there? No. Okay, it's going to have to go on the seat, which... I never like putting it on the seat because if you need to escape out of one door, you can't. So we need to get that out as soon as possible, as soon as we get settled. Now, I do also want to take some books that we're going to need. Canix 5, just in case. I'm sure there'll be books up there anyway, so. Now, food. Let's get some high-cal stuff. Box of MREs, of course. Let's also take some not-so-high-cal stuff. How is our weight? One Chevy, that's fine. Take a couple of axes as well. Oh, we should probably... I think we take the M9, you know. Yeah, because we've got two boxes of 9mm. You don't get a lot in the 9mm, but we'll put the pistol on as the MREs. Mm. Wait, will they get in the glove box? Yes, they will. Lovely. Okay, well, do we wear the police windbreaker? Doesn't give us enough protection, but... Oh, I think we do, you know. To hell with it. Yeah, leave the jacket. We do look cool in that. Wow, well, I think we are pretty much ready to move to... Oh, a couple of axes we need, don't we? Uh, maybe the bearded axe would be better for trees than these little ones. They're not the best, are they? Okay, we're just going to hang around for the rest of the day. And then tomorrow, yeah, we're moving up. We're moving up. I don't know if it's a good idea, but we got to make progress. we got to make progress. Anything... In oh, we need the pipe wrench. And the trowel. And the garbage bag. <laughs> leather. Leather we may as well put on our clothes, you know. There we go. We're all levered up. It doesn't look as cool, but it's a little bit of protection, so it's fine. Okay, but it's 10 to 11. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We're moving up. We'll see you in the morning. Okay, day 24. We have the big move day. Let's grab ourselves some food quickly. How are our calories? Okay, one Chevy. That's fine. Well, let's take some chips for the journey. And let's actually, let's have a quick look where we're even going to base up because I don't even know what the population We haven't really scoped it out, have we? Maybe one of these houses up here would be nice. I mean, what is this place here? I don't even know. Ooh, what's this? This could be good. A little warehouse base, maybe. Check that place out, you know. And it's closer to get to the city. Yeah, let's go there. Let's try there first. Right, let's do it. Let's just get on with it. Bye, old base. You served us well. <laughs> you protected us from the helicopter. Not too worried about filling the gas and stuff up because we have a generator with us. So, oh, I don't know. We are only half full, so maybe we should top her up. Yeah, I think that's probably the, the smartest thing to do, isn't it? There we go. It's good that we still got power. It's got to be on its last leg. Eggs, but it's still nice to have it, right? Let's get out of here. See you later, Tashigo. Tashigo, whatever the hell you're called. We're on a bigger and better things now, you bastard. Now, a better look, this little warehouse place we're going could be a gas station, which would be nice. Actually, it's probably better to go down a main street, isn't it? And we can scope it out then as well. Fair few zombies around, but nothing we shouldn't be able to handle. Oh, look at this. Slurp and... Oh, I like this. Look at them. Oh, we can put rain collectors here. Okay, yeah, no, this is good. This is good. Let's clear the area. Let's give it a shout, actually, to draw them all out. Things fairly clear. And it's... Oh, no, you are joking me. You are joking. Right, well, let's turn the car on. We may be able to take them, you know. Oh, this is not good. We might, we might be able to take them. Maybe, maybe. Oh, there goes the sword. Just drop the sword on the floor for now. Okay, the alarm's off. How many is it going to bring over, though? Oh, they're breaking our windows. Look at this. There's the nine milks. We may have to get the gun. I mean, the alarm's already bringing them to us, so... Don't you smash our doors up. Get out of it. Oh, jeez. Yeah, let's get the gun. I like them sound effects. Oh, God, look at this. Look at this. I don't know if we're going to have enough ammo. We've got 65 rounds. Oh, there's a lot coming. There's a lot coming. Yeah, we... Oh, look at this. We should have got out of there. Yeah, we might be all right. We may be all right here. Yeah, there's a lot up there, but nothing we can't handle if we kite them down. Just don't use the gun again. I really want that base. That's it. Come on, you bastards. Let's have you. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, well, we cleared it. <laughs> Probably turn the car off now. We will cut down some trees because I do want baseball bats. Spike baseball bats are the way forward, I think. They're better than the machetes. 
There's the actual damage of him. Yeah, it's the crit chance on him though. That's that's the uh, that's the winner. All right, let's give it a shout. See if there's anything lurking. All right, let's cut a tree down. Carve base for that. Rip sheets. Okay. Wasn't sure what we needed. Okay, we have two uh, baseball bats. Let's chuck some nails in them. I want to get, as I say, a weapon ready because this one's about to go. Okay, we'll drop this one because I say it's nearly dead and they're so easy to make for us now. Probably going to start getting tired soon. Any more of you bastards in here? Come on, let's have you. Come on. We will take your matches. Thank you. Mm, there's a few bits in here we'll probably be able to salvage, but we're mainly... Ah, oh, look at this. War dispenser as well. No sink, but that's... Actually, it's probably a toilet in here, isn't there? Yeah, look, we can put a rain dispenser, rain collector there. Amazing. Ah, and some fresh fruit for us. All right. I'm liking it. I'm liking this place. Oh, and we got beds as well. Look. Ah, oh, bloody amazing. Well, we're going to need to board some windows up, though. And we could smash the stairs out and make a sheet rope down. Should we do that? Yeah, let's do that. We're going to need some wood. All right, let's get the logs. We're going to need some ripped clothing. Can we make a sheet rope? Yes, we can. There we go. That's done. Okay, we just need the sledge. The splitting wall. Right, let's do it. And then we'll be safe. What a bloody fine. This is old slurp and burp. Okay, so if we saw the logs, put a fence up here. Oh, we might need another sheet rope. Okay, right. Two sheet ropes should. Ah, uh, it's a bit janky. Maybe we got to destroy the stairs first. This is risky. Oh, let's add a sheet rope out here for now. Look at that. Destroy them stairs. Yes, we are safe. Wow, what a turnaround. We are looking a bit worse for wear in terms of the Moodles, but it's fine. Let's grab the generator out of here, so I know that will end up getting us killed if we keep it in there. Right, let's get upstairs. See if we can add a sheet rope to the inside. Let's close this door. This could be our permanent base, you know. Slurp and burp, I love it. Okay, well, let us add... Yeah, it's because the stairs were there, I guess. Okay, well, there we go. That's fine. we got two ins and out. That's fine. That's fine. All right, let's go drop some of this stuff off. Oh, look, we've even got a campfire if we need it. Amazing. Have to build some crates and... Whew, yeah, we got a lot to do. Maybe we move them shells from downstairs up here. Yeah, we got options now. We got options. But it is 10 to 12. We're going to go to bed in our... Oh, Lord. We got any, we got any lights up here? Doesn't look like it. We got any lights downstairs? Because this is dark. No, there isn't. <laughs> um, okay, well... Oh, what's this? No, okay, we don't have lights. Right, surely we got lights somewhere. Oh, well, we're going to need our torch. But anyway, we're going to go to bed and we'll see you in the morning. Okay, day 25. We have awoken. Now, what I want to do, first thing, is just have a look at moving this storage up here. Now, can we pick it up? I think we can. We need a lamp inside, don't we? That's what we need. Right, well, let's get our first lot of uh, shelving down. There we go. Nice. Yes, it's going to be a sorting day. Let's get all our weapons in here, I think. Oh, leveling sprinting. Thank you. Okay, what I also want to do as well is put all our metalworking stuff down here in one of them and our vehicle repair stuff down here in one of them shelving units. I got big plans for this place. Big plans. There we go. Look at that. Now, you may be thinking, hey, why don't you have that stuff inside in the garage? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I like having stuff outside. What a bloody fine. This, I'm glad we came here. I really am. Uh, both these propane tanks are empty, so may as well actually just get rid of them. Well, we may find a propane truck, but okay, let's move another one upstairs. Pop that one here, because why the hell not? Okay, so all of our other stuff can go in here. One side crafting stuff, one side food for the time being. All right, it's coming on. It's definitely coming on. We just need a couple more bits, but maybe we'll find some stuff downstairs. I do need to get rid of this welding mask. Let's have a smoke. Let's go down and see what we can find down there. We got a fridge. Oh, look, we do have a fridge in here. Do we move that upstairs? I think we do. Okay, we have it. We, we did actually take our shoes off, which you never want to do in PZ. All right, let's get it upstairs. Pop it there like that. There we go. Lovely. We will actually fence this off and stuff as well. Let's go and grab our gear. Got anything good in here? Oh, we got a bit of food, actually. We'll take that. And the water dispenser. Thank you. There we go. Look at this. We are we are looking good. We are looking good. What the hell is on the floor here? GI t-shirt. Meh, it can stay there. Bit of blood on the floor, but well, you can't win them all. 
Got a nice campfire here. Oh, lovely, lovely. Well, I think tomorrow we are going to push into the town. Let's bring the full map up, actually. Yeah, we are going to push into the town. I don't know there is a lot here, but it's a very good staging area because we could go up here and, yeah. We do need some kind of light, though, so we'll look for a couple of lamps. Happy days, happy days. Can even get a little farm going on the roof here, possibly. Okay, but it is 11 o'clock. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We're going into the town. We'll see you then. Okay, day 26, and we've awoken, and I've just heard the power go out. So, that is what it is, I suppose. Let's connect this generator. I don't think there's any fuel in it. We don't really need power at the minute. Actually, it wouldn't be bad, would it? Because, well, we can have a lamp then. Hmm, interesting. Okay, what we got? Let's get this jerry can going. Yeah, let's fill the generator, but we won't turn it on just yet. We'll go and put this in the car because we can find some along the way. Oh, we'll take your lollipop. Why not? Right, well, let's push in the town anyway, see what we can find. Find a lamp, see if there's a gas station in this town go from there really maybe find another generator as well possibly did we see one somewhere i can't oh, i think it was the old town wasn't it all right well let's go anyway let's go up here because we want to go to the residential place because i wouldn't mind dismantling some bed whoa 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 let's be smart here that alarm shook them all up didn't it you bastards yeah the bat is putting in the bloody work that's for sure this is in quite good condition this car I'll take the matches Oh, never alarm. Get out, get out. Oh, God. Always with the alarms in this place. Jeez. Uh, maybe we can go into these houses over here. I don't know what the Zeds are going to be like coming through that woods, though. Mm, seems okay. We also haven't done upstairs in the hardware store. Yeah, let's, let's go through here. It doesn't look too dense, the forest bit. Uh, there's a couple coming over. Right, let's get in this house, see if we can find ourselves a lamp. Hopefully there's not another alarm. Oh, a little park over there. Okay, we're in. No bloody lamps around, jeez. Right, let's hit up another house along here. I'll take an outside light. I think you can just connect them and it'll work. Oh, long blunt up, nice. Is that level two? Yes, nice. Oh, another alarm. Oh, no. Get out of here. This is not good. God damn. They're all going to be coming through the forest as well. Okay, we'll go around this bit. It looks fairly clear down here. There's a fair few still kicking around. All right, let's get out of it. Probably a good job we didn't stay in the town centre there. Jeez. Well, a pretty unsuccessful trip to the town. Hmm. Well, it is what it is, I suppose. Probably just hang around base for the rest of the day now. How's our carp looking? Not amazing, but we're getting there. All right, let's grab ourselves some food. We've got to put some, some guardrails up here because I just know I'm going to end up falling down it. And we can probably do with more food, actually. There is that supermarket. Okay, but it is 11 o'clock. We're going to grab ourselves some food. Tomorrow, we are going to put a guardrail. We're going to let them bastards disperse out in town and i put a guardrail up and get the wood ready for a rain collector and then i think the day after we're going to go to that supermarket but yeah still lots to do we'll see you in the morning okay day 27 we have awoken eight in the morning let's have some tomatoes why not get that in ya all right we need the axe because we're going to be chopping some trees i'm glad we did bring an axe to be honest okay is three logs gonna be enough i not too sure we will soon find out though not quite we've managed to build the guardrail but we need more for when we do get a rain collector we may as well do that today for having a base day i can hear a zombie oh lord look at this look at this they're downstairs they must have followed me hey you bastard stop smashing my bloody workbench bloody smashing my bloody shelves you bastards all right well ah, oh, they've ripped my bloody escape rope down as well ah all right well i've crafted another two anyway wherever they are there so hopefully we'll put them back on so it's nice being able to come in and out on the outside as opposed to going through this one but then we have do run the risk of those bastards knocking it down i'm glad i did put one inside otherwise we wouldn't be able to get back up because we're no way near making stairs so yeah I'm a little bit low on melee weapons let's say we can build the spiked bats now so that's fine yeah we are pretty low on food let's take some canned carrots for the rest of the day but it is 20 past 10 we're gonna go to bed tomorrow we're gonna go to the supermarket so we'll see you then okay day 28 we have awoken up quite early 
20 to 6, but it's fine. Let's get some. We are very low on food. Oh, we got the MREs, haven't we? Bloody hell, I forgot about them. Let's go get them out the. Uh, oh, we can't go out that way. Let's get them out the bloody glove box. But we do need some low to mid calorie food anyway. So let's fill our light up as well while we're here. There we go. Okay, so we got 12. So I'll actually have one of them now because our calories are pretty low. Go, okay, look at that. Lovely stuff. But the MREs aren't going to last forever, are they? So we are going to need some more food. Let's read this magazine while we're here. Check it by the fire in case we decide to cook something up. I doubt it, but you never know. All right, let's go and have a look in that supermarket then. I have to look at doing some of this trash on the floor here as well. What? There's a bloody ammo sling on the floor. We'll wear that. Nice. Okay, so that can be our little, instead of a fanny pack, and it's got a good M1911 in it. Nice. And a suit jacket and a book. Well, there you go. Lovely stuff. Okay, well, yeah, we'll take that. Absolutely. Right, let's get moving. Still a lot of the bastards around. Let's, oh, look at all these. Let's clear them out. We will take ripped sheets as we go for more baseball bats. Okay, oh, oh, there's a lot of here. Jeez, they come out of nowhere as well. Oh, there goes the bat. Oh, okay. There's still a few behind. Let's clear up around this. Oh, God, look at them all everywhere. Yeah, pretty pretty high pop, this area. Well, oh, what's that shop there? All, all you can eat. Okay. Oh, look at this. Happy days. Oh, yeah, look at all this good stuff. Okay, we got a lot of stuff now, which is nice. Another water dispenser here as well. We might actually take that water dispenser. You can never have too much water, I say. A lot of food. What I want to do as well is actually dismantle these shelves to get that carper. An empty gym bowl. Not seen that before. Ah, there we go. Carp. Nice. Well, we got a hell of a lot of food, which is good. There's so much food left in here as well. We've got another leveling carp, and we're going to take this water dispenser as well. If we can fit it. Yeah, we can get it. Right, let's go. Let's go. Oh, we're heavy. We're heavy, but let's go. All right, we are home. Let's get up there. Let's drop all this stuff off, and then we're going to make another bat, I think, as well. Put our other water dispenser there, I think. Lovely stuff. Let's drop all this food off. Drop our pistol off as well. Our nice new piss i do like the 1911 never bloody fails that's for sure all right let's get the axe because we're going to need some more wood some more logs whoa you bastard jeez okay let's make two baseball bats happy days let's put a few nails in them we will add one to our back and the other one can go in the car we may as well keep the axe down here i reckon as well you know we'll put it in this one this can be gardening and stuff like that. Outdoors mini stuff. Okay, so what I want to do for the rest of the day, now that we're good with food and everything like that, is actually read the rest of carpentry if we're going to be building a rain collector and stuff like that. So let's go do that for the rest of the day. Okay, it's 11 o'clock. We got through maybe half of it, but we're going to go to bed and we're going to finish off tomorrow and then get that rain collector built. We'll see you in the morning. Okay, day 29. Look at this. 10 past 11 we woke up. Jesus. Right, let's finish reading the book. Okay, we finished carp. Now, I did hear while we was reading a zombie smash the window downstairs. So, oh, I hope he doesn't rip our sheet and I hope he's not right down here. No, we're fine. We're fine. Where are you, you bastard? Where the hell is he? He's somewhere skulking around. Probably jumped back outside. Coward! Here he is. Come on. Oh! Look at boarding them windows up, I think. Right, let's go and find out where this sink actually is. I think it's in the far corner here. Yep, so the far corner there, that's fine. There we go, rain collector right there should do it. Right, let's go and try and plumb it in. We would also board the windows up downstairs as well. Plumb in, white sand and sink. Look at that, happy days. Right, let's go board these back windows up, at least one in each. Out right of planks. Oh, we'll take them smokes. Let's dismantle this for some wood, hopefully. All right, let's go chop a tree and barricade the rest up. I'd rather be safe than sorry, that's for sure. All right, we are pretty much secure down here now. We've got some barricades there. We've got some barricades here. Happy days. Anything worth taking? And no, there wasn't, was there? We could do probably take the microwave upstairs but you know we love a bit of salad anyway hopefully we get a bit of rain overnight to fill this rain collector up that'd be nice okay but it's half past 11 we're gonna go to bed tomorrow probably gonna be a base day because it is a 10th day but we'll see you in the morning all right day 30 we are getting free then what a base we have i like this place i really do we have got to get into this town here though over the next 10 hoping there's going to be some kind of gun store or something but there could be a police station here i've got a feeling this is going to be a school but you never know or a hospital do have the docks which could could have some gun 
containers, but that's a lot of work going through all of them. And then we got to push in through into this old place. It's going to be interesting. And then finally on over to here, which looks like there's quite a few shops here, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But we got a lot to do still. We got a lot to do. I like this place. We're definitely going to stay here for a while. Definitely. I wish we could stay here the whole the whole hundred days, but we are a little bit out of the way. It's all right for now while we still got this to explore. I also want to go up here as well. Yeah, I wonder what that is. Looks interesting. Don't like all these trees behind us, but we're nothing we can really do about that. I'm not going to cool them down. It's quite dense, isn't it? But I suppose the alarm would have brought them all to us. We've also got a majestic beard coming on. Let's have a quick look. Oh, look at look at the hair as well. <laughs> look at the hair. What can we do with the hair? There we go. That looks a little bit better, doesn't it? <laughs> Keeping the beard there. We're, we're getting to old man Rick. We're getting there. We're getting there. Probably should have just let it go grungy as hair, shouldn't we? So we're probably not going to do a lot for the rest of the day as it is a 10th day, but we got we got a lot planned. We got a lot planned. So we're probably going to leave it there. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it and I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Just want to say a massive thank you to all of our YouTube channel members, but a big shout out to everyone on the Shambler tier. Mac Daddy Too Cool, Hakuna Whiskey, 309 Basehead, Rob Jones and John Smith. Thanks guys. Really do appreciate it.